All right. Thank you so much for coming to SBD Toastmasters. We are holding this meeting every Friday and welcome. I will be your surgeon at arms. So my responsibility is to read the rules to make sure we can follow the meetings properly. So here's the rules for our meetings. First, you can turn your video on if you are available, but if you're not wearing hijab yet, that's okay. And please mute your microphone if you are not talking. So we are not interrupting the speakers. And you can also use gestures, make eye contact with camera and treat this like in any other meeting. So online meeting, offline meeting, act it like the same because once you're used to one kind of meeting you'll be get used to any kind of meeting if it is online or offline and practice your online meeting skills in a toastmasters club where you will learn to become better communicator public speaker and leader so that's my introduction and once one more thing to every role takers please rename yourself according to your role and for guests, please rename yourself as guest, strip your name. And for visiting Toastmasters or who are not talking of any role, you can name yourself as VTM, strip your name. All right. With that being said, that is the role for our meeting. And have fun and participate actively. With that, I will give the control our, to our Mr. President, Toastmaster Anika. Screen is yours. Thank you, Toastmaster Alvin. I just want to check whether you can see my screen. Yes. Yes, we can. All right. Happy morning, everyone. Happy morning. Happy, Happy morning. morning. When we come to SCBD Toastmasters meeting, we always have the spirit in happy morning. And welcome to the meeting tonight. For those of you who are not SCBD members and also who are soon to be Toastmasters, uh, I would like to welcome you. And then uh, for those who are visiting Toastmasters and also distinguished guests, I would like to introduce to you that SCBD Toastmasters Club has three values. The first one is we love appreciative environment. And we love warm environment, and we also love energetic and experienced personnel in our environment. So tonight, please take all of your energy and put it in our meeting. Smile big. If you have any question, please do so in the chat box because we would love to have that. Now, SBD Toastmasters Club is a part of Toastmasters International. It has been established since 1924. It focuses on public speaking and leadership. We are literally in 144 countries, and there are a lot of clubs and a lot of members. Now, since we are in SCBD Toastmasters Club, we provide guidance for the members in achieving education progress. The second one, we also have a mentoring program that is member-centric, and the third one, we always love the warm club environment. You can tell from the beginning till the end of the meeting, please tell us whether it is warm or not. Now, as a member of Toastmasters, we always have a curriculum. It is called the pathway, and we have five levels of pathway. First one is the mastering fundamentals. After that, you go to learning your style and then increasing knowledge, building skills, and at the end, we always have the demonstrating expertise. So no worries. If you join Toastmasters, we will have guidance in achieving the education progress. Now, let me tell you a bit on our members progress. Here, 46% of us completed or are at the level one. And then 12% at level two, three, four, and five. So we monitor members progress and some of our members have completed multiple pathway because of their passions and at this moment i would also want to recognize our members achievement toastmaster anum pramana please give round for a uh, round of applause for him because he just completed level five of his presentation mastery pathway 
Yes, we also have mentoring, and this is our the list of our mentoring pairs. So if you join us, then you will get a mentor who would love to help you to achieve what you want to achieve in terms of a public speaking or also leadership. Now, if you want to join us, please join us every Friday of the month. So 6.55 to 9 p.m. for GMT Plus 7. Um, we also have a hybrid meetings on the first and the fourth week. In the middle of the month, we have online meetings just like this. If you are interested in going to the hybrid venue, uh, to hybrid meeting, then you can come to the Perpustakaan Kementerian Pendidikan, Kemudian Riset, dan Teknologi Republik Indonesia, Jalan Sudirman, Jakarta. But you, always, you are always welcome if you want to join online. Okay, so without further ado, with the power of this remote control, I will open the meeting. Yes. Thank you so much. And I would love to hand this to the Toastmaster of the meeting. Welcome, Toastmaster of the meeting, Andika Sumarsono. Hello. Yes. Now, since we are in the vibe of celebrating Independence Day of Indonesia, please rise for the Indonesian national anthem and please sing along for those of you who are Indonesian citizens. How is it, everybody? How do you feel about that? Do you feel great? Very patriotic. Like Indonesia. Very patriotic. Yes, that's right. So I would love to give that vibe to you that we commemorate the Indonesian Independence Day. For all of us who are Indonesian, let's celebrate it with a very high spirit to be a better of us. Now... Oh, the theme of this morning is the right of all nations. Do you know what is one of it? Is the being independent. Being independent is the right of all nation. Nobody should invade someone. So we have the freedom of our own. And the word of the day is the segregate. It's a verb. It means to unite previously separated parts. We can put it in a sentence, say, we wish to disaggregate all schools. But the context is that in the US in the 1960s where there were a lot of racism problem there. So I would love everyone in this meeting to use the word of the day as many as possible. I am not alone in hosting this meeting. We have wonderful cast for this meeting. 
The first one will be the, our general evaluator, Toastmaster Raihan. And we have a lot of good evaluator range, the Rangers. And he will introduce his team by himself after this. We also have our table topic masters, Toastmaster Dede. We have a perfectly capable prepared speakers, for Toastmaster Gada, Toastmaster Monica Ratti, Toastmaster Yvonne, Toastmaster Adrian, and also Toastmaster Alvin. Not only that, we also have the speech evaluators for them, Toastmaster Geni, Toastmaster Lutfi, Toastmaster Gusti, Toastmaster Andika, and Toastmaster Donna. Without further ado, I will hand it over to our general evaluator, Toastmaster Rahan. Thank you so much, uh, Toastmaster of the meeting. Okay, so hello everyone. Uh, my name is Raihan, uh, and I will be your general evaluator for tonight. As the name as the name suggests, I will be evaluating the general um, quality of the meeting tonight. Uh, but it is quite a big job, and I don't think I'm capable of doing that alone. And so I will. I have with me a group of people that I do think are very capable of helping me evaluate different aspects of the meeting. First off, I would like to introduce our timer, which is Toastmaster Raya. Uh, Toastmaster Raya, would you like to explain your role to the rest of us? Okay, thank you. I am Raihan. So, Hello, my name is Raya, and tonight I will be the timer. I will time the prepared speeches, table topic speakers, as well as the evaluations. I will also I will also alert each speakers of the time they have left using the green, yellow, and red background, which denote specific time remaining. In order to be eligible for voting, speakers need to finish the speech within the time allocation. The prepared speeches should be five until seven minutes in length. At five minutes, I will change my background into green. And at six minutes, the background will change to yellow. And at seven minutes, it will change to red. At this point, speakers need to wrap up their speeches in less than 30 seconds. And then for the table topic speakers should limit their remarks to no more than two minutes. At one minute, I will change my background into green. At one minute and 30 seconds, the background will change to yellow. And at two minutes, it will change to red. At this point, speakers need to wrap up their speeches in less than 30 seconds. And the last, the individual evaluation should be between two until three minutes. At two minutes, I will change my background into green. At Two minutes and 30 seconds, the background will change to yellow. And at three minutes at this point, speakers need to wrap up their speeches in less than 30 seconds. Back to you, GE. Thank you so much for the for the introduction, Tosmas Raya. And yes, uh, your time is very important here because we don't we do uh, try to be timely here in Toastmasters. And next up is our R and W O D counter which would be Toastmaster Angel. Would you care to explain your role to us? Good evening, everyone. Today, I'm Angel. I will be a POD counter. I'm responsible for nothing, any overseas word, like a filler word by anyone who speak during the meeting, like words such as, um, or, but, well, you know that, okay, and are also. And I will give my complete report when called on the general evaluation report. Thank you, and back to you, Toastmaster Raihan, as a general evaluator. Thank you so much for that. And again, I just want to add, like, if you catch yourself saying these words, don't feel too bad. This is not to shame you. These, these are to give you markers and where you can improve and we can learn more. Just completely okay. Next up, it is 
some uh, one of my personal favorite roles to take in most meetings are grammarian. So I would like to hand over to Toastmaster Leone to introduce her role for tonight. Thank you. Happy morning, everyone. My name is Leone, and I'm your grammarian for today. And I'll take note of any misuses of the English language, as well as any outstanding words, quotes, sayings, or thoughts. As a grammarian, it is also my duty to introduce the word of the day. And the word of the day for today is... Let me... Okay, the word of the day is desegregate. Desegregate. It means to unite previously separated parts. And the word could also be used in an example sentence, such as Indonesia has made significant progress in the past 38 years to desegregate its diverse population and promote unity and inclusion. I know today, Word of the day is quite challenging. And because today is also, we're also celebrating our Independence Day. To encourage you to use the word of the day, I will have a giveaway prize for today. So for all of you Toastmasters and guests who can use this word of the day in the right sentence and in the right context, you will be given a iPhone 14 Pro Max, deep purple color, 128 gigabyte, in a form of a jetpack, and it will be sent to all the winners in their respective chat box. So make sure you guys are all participate in this word of the day. Use it as much as you can, and we'll be meeting again around next, around the end of the meeting. And that is all from me as, a, as your grammarian. Back to you, Mr. GE. Thank you so much for that, Toastmasters Leone. I was very shocked when you announced the prize and uh, amazed at the apparently the amazing amount of budget that SGBD has. Anyway, last but not least, I have one more role with me tonight, which is our ballot counter. Would Toastmaster Donna uh, introduce her role for tonight, please? Hello. Thank you, our general evaluator. My name is Donna, and I am here as your ballot counter. My job is to take your voice, uh, not quite literally, so that you can vote for your best prepared speaker, your favorite table topic speaker, and your favorite evaluator. I will give you the link to vote at the end of every session. And you have one minute concurring with the next program to cast your vote. Thank you. Back to you, GE. Thank you so much for that, Toastmaster Dona. And that concludes our GE team for tonight. We will get back to you when our perspective roles come up and towards the end with our own validations. I will hand over control back to our Toastmaster of the meeting. Thank you. Our general evaluator, I believe that you have a wonderful lineup of rangers tonight. Now, let's get to the business. Let's welcome our prepared speakers. The first speaker is our former president of SCBD Toastmasters Club, Toastmaster Garda Widi Nuraga. But I will not introduce him. I will give it to his evaluator, Toastmaster Geni San Wibawa. Toastmaster Geni. The screen is yours. Hi. Thank you, Toastmasters of the meeting. The purpose of this speech is for the member to present a speech and receive feedback from the evaluator. Now, having been a Toastmaster since the pandemic, our next speaker has not stopped from being a medical doctor by day and a Toastmaster by the rest of the day. He can be well organized on a daily basis, but sometimes likes to go impromptu when delivering a speech, not limited to the one we are about to witness in a few moments. Please give a round of applause and welcome our first speaker, Garda Wirdi Noranga. A step that matters. A step that matters, Garda Wirdi Noranga.
when our beloved VPE approached and asked whether or not I would be able to deliver my next pitch project on this day, at the beginning, hmm, should I say yes to this invitation or should I just withdraw? Just like many of the days that she requested to deliver a speech project. After long deliberation, and I said yes to finally deliver my next speech project, which is a day. Now, I believe that many of you have encountered similar situation, whereas in your work or at your study, wherever you are, you face a challenge, whether or not you'd like to make a decision that perhaps can change the rest of your day or perhaps the rest of your life. You may think one particular moment over the counter of your life that you felt confused, doubtful, or scared. Because that was all those feelings that I experienced today. So just like my evaluator mentioned that, yes, I am indeed a medical doctor by day, but being a Toastmaster by the rest of the day, meaning that not to mention the day, I face a lot of challenges at work. Whereas I had a lot of emotions, angers, fears, and tiredness. And believe it or not, few hours ago, this idea came across my mind, whether or not, should I still deliver my speech project today? Or should I just withdraw and said that I could not be able to make it again? This has been a constant changing in my mind that if I go further with my instinctual drive that perhaps limits me to go forward, perhaps I wouldn't go anywhere. But hey, this is Toastmasters, the safe place for us to make mistakes because at the end of the day, those rooms for improvements will come to our way without realizing or not. So I still go forward, even again, believe it or not, 30 minutes prior to this meeting, I was rushing from the parking lot to find a safe place for me to deliver this peace project. If it weren't because of you and because of my beloved VPE today, I certainly would not be able to stand here, well, sitting here before you today in front of your screen to deliver my speech project. So what does this tell us actually? It means that regardless of the situation or the hurdles that you might face in any situation that comes over the course of your life, always remember that there will be one little or tiny step to make it forward and that one step matters the most. You may think that, oh, I'm so doubtful, I'm so angry, I'm so mad with everything that has been going on in my life. The moment when you felt that you just wanted to give up. But hey, the moment when you feel that you are giving up, you never realized that you already made one little step from the previous you to become the person you are today. And that, that is the same moment and the similar experience I just had today. So regardless where you are and what kind of situations that you might encounter throughout the days, the weeks, the months, and so on and so forth, remember, the person you are today already made thousands of steps that matter in your life. 
you may think that you are lucky, you are fortunate enough to be in wherever you are at the moment. But beyond that, you don't know how many steps that you have paved on your ground to be the person you are today. So ladies and gentlemen, my fellow Toastmasters and soon to be Toastmasters, continuing to my previous speech, maybe some of you attended our previous two meetings, you may find yourself in an intersection of your life, but no matter in which point that you are standing in your life, remember that you can always make one step that matters because this one particular step will definitely bring you forward to the be better person of your life. And most definitely, you are a step closer to reach your destination. And yes, you're a step closer to become a better person. Back to you, Tom. Wow, thank you for sharing those master Garda. I noted on the point that this person has made 10,000 steps for the progress. I think that is very good reminder that we always have ourselves as the big supporter and sometimes, and I would say sometimes, we forget about it. Well, thank you so much, Toastmaster Garda, for the beautiful reminder for all of us this morning. Now, let's go to the next speaker. And this is also awesome member. She is doing the level one project two, Toastmaster Monica Ratti, but she will be introduced by her evaluator, Toastmaster Lutfi. Toastmaster Lutfi, are you there? Good evening, Toastmaster Monica. Actually, I'm still on my way to go home, but I need to pull over on the nearest cafe. So probably a little bit noisy right here. Okay. Okay. Nevertheless, I can continue to introduce a uh, speech. Thank you so much. Okay. So good evening, everyone. I was in charge to take this message before the evaluator for Toastmaster Monica. Toastmaster Monica will deliver her speech on level one. The purpose of this project is Toastmaster Monica to present a speech or any topic and receive feedback and then apply the feedback to a second speech. Without any further ado, Toastmaster Monica, are you ready? Toastmaster Monica, are you ready? Yes, I am ready. Toastmaster Monica, social echoes, social echoes, Toastmaster Monica. Okay. Happy morning, dear fellow Toastmasters and esteemed guests. I am Monica and I am thrilled to be here today to deliver a speech. I don't know why I'm still nervous even after I have taken some roles and delivered my first speech here in the very same club and the same people. But PGIO, thanks God it's online, I am scheduled to make my speech on online session where I'm saved from being recognized on how sweaty I am right now. So tonight, I'd like to take you guys on a journey of mind that all of us might have experienced that is full of lens of perception. If the others of, if the other speaker would start the speech in this context by asking, who here has ever experienced being anxious about what others will say or feel about us? I would rephrase this question into, who here 
feels like never encounter a time when you worried about others' opinion on you. And for those who fall into the second category, then congratulations. Please DM me because I am genuinely intrigued by your secret so I can help myself. Though some of us have grown up and already embraced it, I believe one must have experienced such a thing even just once in the average 70 years of our lives. I remember a time when I was paired with girls that are not really that close to me for room sharing. There is an event that we have to attend, so the hours before the event started, we hurriedly and panicked as well glam up ourselves. Those two hours feels like an eternity for me, not because of the time to groom myself up, which only took under an hour, but because of the bombardment question they asked me. We were unable to leave unless all of us was ready, so I just decided to wait in the room and scrolling through my phone. The whole hour I spent waiting for them to get ready went like this. 10 seconds after I'm done, the first girl asked me, is this dress okay on me? I said, it does, it look cute on you. And then one minute after, she asked again, but don't you think this style is too informal? And don't you think my tummy looks bloated? I answer it again. No, you don't. You look normal and wearing the right outfit for the right event. And not long after that, my second friend asked me, Hey, don't you think my makeup is too bold? Would they think I'm doing it over? And I replied, No, you look okay. Bold makeup is great, it's perfectly fine, and they won't recognize nor think about you in that way. But this question contagiously coming over to my mind like, Right, what if they think that I'm underdressed? So I asked her, what about my makeup? And she just glanced at me and said, no, it's okay. Um, hey, you sure my makeup is not like Dakotan? And I guess you can, you can guess for the rest conversation because I'm sure it will bore you. Finally, we finished and we went up to the rooftop with me still consumed over the thought of what will the others think about my style. But as we see it, I observed the others and suddenly I realized how they immersed with their own thought. They keep looking back into the mirror or just busy adjusting their attire. And I feel like it's more like a paradox. We worried about their opinion on us while they actually only care about themselves. This was supported by the time when my friend who just glanced at me when I asked her about my makeup and she redirect her question into her appearance. Then I smiled at myself and thought, why should I worry with myself over that? I could make those hours that are precious into doing activities like reading something I like or maybe just socializing with the others rather than sitting there uh, spending my time in silence and asking the same question that won't bring my relationship anywhere with the others. And maybe that's what happened to me right now. Because even now I'm still contemplating what you guys will think about my speech. Will it be boring, mediocre, or maybe you have heard about this topic before and I cannot deliver it very well. But as I see you guys in this virtual room, the more I reflect to myself and I realize that you are here for various reasons. Maybe some of you are just focusing on the stopwatch or background, busy hearing any spoken words of the day, or just busy preparing for things to evaluate. And maybe some of you who were just busy thinking about what food to eat for tonight. And then I came to a conclusion well, I don't think tonight will be that bad. So fellow Tasmasters, it is perfectly all right to take into account the other's opinion on us, but please remember finding balance is key. Just don't lose yourself in those thoughts for too long or you will be the one who lost. I'm aware that this is a process and a journey 
and I do acknowledge that facing this and being confident is hard. Thank you. Thank you. Please give round of applause for Toastmaster Monica. We just have a flood of great quotes here. Toastmaster Monica reminded us on, yes, please take into account others' opinion, but find a balance because you don't want to be overwhelmed by them. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Monica. Now let's move on to the next speaker all the way from Taiwan, Toastmaster Yvonne Lim, our, our members uh, from uh, SCBD, but I will give it to her evaluator, Toastmaster with the shades, with the cool shades there, Toastmaster Gusti, the screen is yours. Yay. Thank you so much, uh, Tom. So, much, so, good evening, everyone. So, this evening, we like to hear the project from Professor Yvonne. So, she will deliver a project connected with storytelling. The purpose of this project is for the member to practice using a story within a speech or giving a speech that is a story. Mm, interesting, right? So time given is five and seven minutes. Let's start with overdue. Does Master Yvonne, is this good or bad? Is this good or bad? Does Master Yvonne. Thank you. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Tom and my evaluator, Krasky. Hello, Toastmaster, and most welcome guest. A Sunday morning, as I walked into the information room of a temple, quickly, a stranger, a lady, I had never met her before. She approached to me with this paper in her hand. And she looks anxious and asks me, is this good or bad? Oh, curious. I close to her and take a look at this paper. And what this paper? Actually, it is a Watering point, the watering point, and some people say it is a watering stick. A lot of the people actually, when they encounter, no matter it's bad or good, they would like to pray to the Bodhisattva or about Lokis Veda to get some answer from the Bojisawa or about Lokis Bella. I think for this lady, after I look, I took a look of this point, I feel something enlarged. And at the moment, I noted her a glimmer of tears in her eyes. Then quickly I hold her hand. I told her, assuredly, I'd write her, no matter, regardless, all of the challenges, remember, Face it, accept it bravely, and deal with it. Then finally, let it go. Relieve yourself, remember. And suddenly, 
she wants to share something with me. But at the moment, seems a clear voice interrupt her voice. It's very loudly in another distance. It's called on the name, Renzu, Renzu. And Renzu, where are you now? And Renzu is this lady name. She quickly raised her name and answered, Oh, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. So at that moment, she quickly waved goodbye and uh, walked away from me. It leaving me a sense of curiosity of her story. So afterward, on my way to my home, I saw her. It's really wondrous. This lady came from Korea, and I encountered with her. Actually, even it's just a brief encounter, but it's really give me some long term and long time impact. So when I get my home, I think actually in our daily life, some of the person always appear very calm down and seems no fear on her life no matter what they encounter. And even they are very content of their life. They always appear, no fear on her life. I think in my mind, that is always, I want to train my mindset like us, those kind of the person. So, fellow Toastmaster and most welcome guest, may I ask you a question? How can you have a no fear of the life? And far is a good measure. As I remember, the master told me, try, try to cultivate your training to be a failure master, a failure of your own soul, and then you can master your life. At that time, actually, there is neither good nor bad, and you really can achieve a happy, a happier life ultimately. Oh, I really learned something from this stranger, the courier lady, even just a brief encounter. But from her story, actually inspired me. How can we enjoy a no fear of life and really enlighten our wisdom and give the wisdom to us to enjoy our life. Thank you. Back to our Mr. Tom. Thank you. Thank you, Toastmaster Yvonne. Let's give her a round of applause. This is why I, I am energized every Friday evening. Why? Because this is not only a meeting, but this is a lineup of motivational speakers here. From Toastmaster Yvonne, she says, when you find a challenge, accept it, deal with it, face it, and deal with it. And we are the master of our life. 
having no fear is possible. See, we have lots of motivational speakers here, and this is what energizes us. Let's move on to the next awesome speaker, Toastmaster Adrian Eka. He is our own Vice President of Membership of the CBD Toastmasters Club, and he will be introduced by his evaluator. His evaluator, who is he? Oh yeah, that's me. <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we are going to listen to Toastmaster Adrian Eka. The purpose of his project is to clearly define how Toastmasters envisions mentoring. And another purpose of it is for Toastmaster Adrian to share some aspect of a previous experience as a protege. Without further ado, Adrian Eka, if you find one, cherish it. If you find one, cherish it, Adrian Eka. Twenty thirteen, I was in a college, and as a college student, we I have a freedom to choose whatever class that I want to attend and whatever I want to do outside the class. And in that free time, I wonder something: what's life out there? What's life awaiting me outside of this college after I was graduated at that time? And then to my surprise, a whole world out there is so much more advanced than I learned in school, in the class. The thing is, what we learn in class is so easily found in the internet. It has been 2013. Finding information is relatively easy at that time. And it frightens me. How can I withstand the life out there if everyone else has the same information? First thing first, I'm not that smart and when I want to learn something, I do it relentlessly. But because I'm alone, I've hit my wall. And then I seek help from a friend. And luckily, I found someone. He is smart. He has more experience than I, than I am. And luckily, he, he was in the same grade as I am. I approach to him, talk with him, and maintaining good relationship with him. And learn a lot of more of subjects, algorithm that I want to improve on. Long story short, 2016, he comes to me. Adrian, the thing is, would you like to work alongside with me to build a small company in my hometown. I thought at that time, oh, it is the opportunity that I cannot miss. Yes, I will. Working alongside him tells me, and it makes me learn a lot. Not that it reduces my learning time, but whatever I learned at that time, has much more purpose and it makes me better exponentially. My fellow Toastmasters and distinguished guests, mentorship is a concept that already been in Toastmasters for a long time. It is a relationship that needs trust, respect, and shared commitment. I pull my story and I feel it relates to what mentoring does in Toastmaster itself. To find someone 
who is patient, inspiring. Really, it is so hard. But if you found someone who are willing to give their time, to give their patience, to support you when you are in trouble, please cherish it. Cherish them. And I would like to share about how to find this kind of people, this kind of mentors. The first one would be you, there is some subject you want to work on. And there is absolutely, there is someone who has been through what you want to do. When you are, when you want to write, there must be someone who renowned and it has its best as their writing. Approach him and just directly say, May I have your time being my mentors. And of course, it would not cost that cheaply. A lot of them would cost much more money because it would take their time and it takes the commitment from Protegis. From Protegis perspective, it shows us the commitment that I want to learn from him. The second one, it would be in our inner circle. There must be someone who already good at it. Cherish every connection that you have. And what we seek is what we would get. You would find someone that you want, you want to improve and public speaking. In, in consciously, you will find those masters. For example, there are a lot of us here that experience with public speaking and want to give their experience to us. And nevertheless, whichever method that you want to choose, we as a protegis has a three qualities that we want to make when we contact our mentors. The first one, proactive and hard work. It is our life. Again, it's our life and it's our responsibility to make it true. The second one, open-minded. Bring more discussion with your mentors and this will help your relation with him or her in the future. And the third one, own your journey and learn from it. Mentorship is a brain to pick, ears to listen, and someone who push you through a through times, through a tough times. And if you find him, you find her, cherish them. Thank you. Back to you, as master of the meeting. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Adrian. If you find a good mentor, cherish them. That is a great message because sometimes maybe some of us might forget for those people who have helped us to grow. And the speech of Toastmaster Adrian says that mentoring doesn't come free. So it takes effort. It, it takes time. So when you get it, then you have to cherish it. Well, thank you so much, Toastmaster Adrian. We have been listening to four speakers now. Let's go to the next one. He is, hmm, he has a long title, actually. He is our sergeant at arms. He is our immediate past president, and he is the current Division I director. So without further ado, I will let his evaluator, our own VP Education, Dosmaster Dana, to introduce him. Dosmaster Dana, screen is yours. Happy morning, everybody. My name is Dana, and I am here to introduce our fifth and final speaker, Toastmaster Alfin. As mentioned before, he is our immediate past resident, Sergeant at Arms, and Division Director. 
Professor Alvin Abrer is here on his second pathway engaging humor with the project Engaging the Audience with Humor. The purpose of this project is for the member to determine their style of humor and apply it to a speech that centers around a central message. So give him a hard time and don't laugh. So please welcome Tessnesser Alfin with a speech title, Embracing 1000 Kindness, Unveiling the Stories of Alfin Ambrar. Screen's yours. Uh, don't follow, don't advise, yeah. Please love, help me. I'm Alfin Abrar. It is from Arabic. 1000 for Alfin. The Abrar means kindness. Then what is Alfin Abrar then? 1000 of kindness. Wait, 1,000 of kindness. Isn't it hard? While doing just one kindness may be heavy, now 1,000. Look, all of you. One, two, three, 23. All of you doing kindness? You are just 23 Abrar. You are not. Alfin Abra. If you want to be 1000 of kindness, pick me. Alfin Abra. 1000 of kindness. The first fact about me. Can you see? Color of my shirt? Red. My watch? Red. My Shoes, my shoes, red, everything is red, red. Are you waiting for my underwear? Oh, please no, please no. If not, our president will kick me out. So that's my first fact. Oh, I have 1000 facts. Is it too many? Oh, no lah, not 1,000. Maybe what about 999? Maybe that okay? Okay, let's go. On. The other things about me is, I am from Padang, West Sumatra. Well, coming from Padang is very easy to Notice me as a Padang people. And then little did I know, my accent was very obvious. Like when well, people say Tibet, I say Tibet. Well, normal people say Brebus, I say Brebes. So people always notice me. You from Padang, yeah? You from Padang, yeah? How do you know? Are you spying me? And then I share this to my fellow Padang, Tito. Tito understand the challenge. Okay, no obvious dialect. All right, let's go. Let's go to the cafe. Now everyone knows Tito from Padang. Second story buried me another 998. So as Padang person, people usually judge me as a trader. When I said I work in a bank, they say, why don't you sell nasi padang? This always upset me. Why? Is it in every HR they ask, where are you from? Padang? You cannot work here. You have to work in nasi padang. Go away. 
Why people keep asking me to sell nasi padang? Doesn't mean I always love nasi padang. I love warteg as well. It is cheap, healthy. And there's not always a story to tell as a padang person. Now, one more thing. If you know someone is from Padang, he must like spicy food. I like spicy food. I did. I eat spicy, spicy, spicy food. Chili everywhere. And then one day, I got hemorrhoid. Then I go to surgery. That's very painful. But I was very grateful with the surgery because I never have hemorrhoid anymore because it was cut. I free for to eat any kind of chili, 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 eat chili, 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 anything, rice, chili. But then, I got the second hemorrhoid. How could this be, doctor? Did you cut it very well? Well, Alvin, you know, there are two parts of your back, the right and the left. I cut your right, now you got your left. Oh my God, doctor. Please notice me if any other hemorrhoid possibly to come. And because of that, I'm so afraid to eat a lot of chili. I'm less saturated as padang right now. I didn't really eat chili. I don't sell nasi padang. But my dialect is still obvious because I always go to Tibet or Brebes. But that's me. I'm very proud to having this to tell to you. Hopefully you have one thing to share about you. Can be from your stereotype. Please share where you come from. I will be happy, happy to hear that. So that's me, Alvin, the red person. A very obvious dialect, actually. And I work not as a nasi padang seller, well, this is very sad. I didn't eat chili anymore. Back to you. Let's give it up for the red person, Toastmaster Alfin. We have learned from Toastmaster Alfin is that stereotypes do not normally work. It might work for some people, but they don't work every time. But then we always have this one thing particular that becomes our value. Whether it is our accent, our preference, our limitation, anything can be something that enrich us. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, we have listened to the five amazing speakers. Now I would like to call our timer to provide the report. Ms. Timer? Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Andika. So, for tonight, so happy all of the speakers are eligible to vote. So, all of you can choose your favorite one. As I shared in the chat box, Garda, speak for six minutes and 60, sorry, six minutes and 19 seconds, Monica for six minutes and one second, Yvonne, seven minutes and 10 seconds, Adrian, seven minutes and five seconds, and also Alvin for seven minutes and 12 seconds. Okay, so that's it. Thank you. Back to you, Kasmasar Andika. Thank you so much. And this is getting more exciting because all of the speakers can be voted. And Miss Ballot Counter, have you provided the link? 
Yes, I have. You can check out the link in the chat box. Please go ahead and cast your vote. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Now, please exercise your civilian rights. Please vote for the best prepared speakers, or I would say the most favorite speakers. Uh, before that, uh, Toastmasters and Distinguished Guests, please scan this because we want to document your attendance because your attendance is very important to us. So all you need to do is just go to the link or you can scan the QR code and then put on your attendance. I will give it around 30 seconds for you to fill out the attendance. Thank you so much. We can go ahead in the meantime. Okay, I will stop sharing. And this is one of the most awaited session. It is called table topic session. For those of you who are not familiar with that session, hmm, what is that? Is that related to table? Now let's call our table topic masters our own. And please note that this is her first time being table topic master, Toastmaster Dede. The screen is yours. Thank you so much. I was Toastmaster of the meeting. And Andika, is my audio audible? Yes. We can hear you. Okay. Thank you so much. So for the table topic session is about to help us and to remember to practice the art of the improvisation and also help us think about our talk. And this is also help us to improve our communication skill from the listening, thinking, organizing, and delivering our thing to the audience here. And the most important thing that's for the table topic session is not only for the members, but also for the uh, guests can join for this table topic session. So for the first, I will share about the material. Okay. okay. So for the table topic session, we have the rules. At the first, sign for a change in the chat box. So for you are want to try table topics, please fulfill your name in the chat box. And then the second, if I, uh, if I uh, ask your name, you can choose the number of the table topic. And then for the deliver, you have time one until two minutes for the speech and for the special table topic session for tonight's meetings we have the word of the day this is this is great so you can put it in your uh, sentence or your speech in this table session so we have uh, seven question or quote for this table topic session but I think for this one, we just only have uh, four participants. So you can uh, chat box your name for join this table topic sessions. Is there anyone uh, with his or her name in the chat box? Okay, we have uh, oh, Tem Raihan. Hello, Tem Raihan. Are Hello. You here? Yes, okay. I'm here. Okay, thank you for joining this table topic session. Uh, we have seven numbers for this table topic. Which one, the Iceland, that you want to choose? Is there any Sumatra, uh... Kalimantan, or I think it's... let's go for Sulawesi. Sulawesi. Okay, let's reopen this one. Okay. Number three is uh, the speech from our uh, five president to Megawati. Independence is not slowly about political freedom. 
it's about ensuring that all Indonesian have equal access to opportunity, regardless of their background. So, what do you think about this code? So, please your uh, please share your thought to us. What would be the route for us to be able to desegregate everyone? I think it is the one of the most important human right that everyone needs to remember, education. With education comes knowledge and with that comes the willingness to change things. And that is something that I find we are very much lacking in this country. Sure, we can say that people in Jakarta, people in West Java are getting educated. We have a bunch of universities, a bunch of graduates uh, doing amazing things and being active politically, being active in the, in the workplace. But what about the other, the other islands? What about in Kalimantan? What about in Sulawesi? What about in Papua? Sad to say, because they're not close to the center, they're kind of left out. Not to say they don't have the potential to have to be great, to be useful for the rest of our nation. But due to the sheer lack of infrastructure, they're lacking. And I do think the first step that we can go towards is education. If we can help everyone to be able to learn, to study, even to have to have that basic skill that would be a great first step and so i if there's one thing that i would like to change a lot for this country in order for us to be able to desegregate is to to ensure that everyone has an equal access to to high quality education thank you thank you so much i am hi hannah what's your speech and he input the word of the day for his speech, which is disaggregate. And yes, we have to make the same opportunity for the education for the, all of the Indonesia kids and for all of Indonesia people. So for let's move on to the second uh, uh, to the second uh, audience for the table topic sessions. I think for the second people, I will, I will choose the guest, uh, Patrick. Hello, guest Patrick. Do you do you there? Hi, hi, yes. Hello. Hi. Okay. Uh, do you wanna try for the table topic session? Uh yeah, but I don't know how the result would be. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. You can try it. Um, actually, you just have the sick number left for this one. Which one that you want to choose for this table topic session? Um, maybe number six. Number six. This is Java Iceland. Let's reopen. All right. So for the number six, this is the speech from our first president, Insinyur Sukarno. He mentioned that as we celebrate independent days, let us reflect on the progress we have made in building a more inclusive and equitable society for all Indonesia. So uh, please don't forget to input the word of today and please share us about your talk about this code. We thanks yours. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Actually, a bit confused, but oh, uh, okay. Related to the thing that we have made during this time, I think, um, yeah, uh. We as a citizen, we need to remember that uh, 
we have been through this far sometimes people just like um skeptic with the the situation of the country especially for indonesian sometimes they uh, skeptic with uh, their country however we need to remember um how the government have built the the country and all the progress that we have made um i would say that indonesia itself also have been increased uh, have been improved a lot um since the beginning of its uh independence day uh, even even though uh yeah the even though the citizen is disaggregate um to many race uh in many island however uh we need to remember the spirit of the independence back then uh that uh all the all the effort that given by our heroes back then to achieve this uh independence um yeah that's all <laughs> I don't know what else, so sorry. Oh, it's okay. It's very powerful and very meaningful statement from you. And yeah, we have to uh, thanks all of to the, our heroes. Uh, it's not only from the national heroes, but also for our parents. So because uh, we can to be the part of the Indonesian people, right? So, and congratulations because you input the word of today for your speech. Thank you so much. Let's move on to the third uh, speaker for the table topic session. I think we have a lot of guests here. So I will choose for the guests also. I think, um, guest Amel, are you there? Hello, guest Amel? Hello, guest Amel? Ah, I think she not respond me. So let's we choose another one. Um, guess Mida, are you there? Hello, guess Mida. Okay, I think uh, there is no response. So let's we move to the TM Resga because she already. Input his name in the chat box. Are you there, TM Resga? Yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm here. Thank you so much for input your name. So yeah. let's we uh wait, wait a moment. Let's we choose your favorite ones, Iceland from Indonesia. Okay. Which one the Iceland that you wanna visit for like now? Um, number one. One. Okay, the Sumatra yeah. Islands from the Alvin Tam. <laughs> Let's reopen the number one. Okay, for the number one is from our president, Joko Widodo. Uh, we celebrate our independence not just by raising the flag, but by upholding the value of unity diversity and equality. So we celebrate our independence, not just by raising the flag, but by upholding the values of unity, diversity, and equality. Okay, okay. the time is yours. Celebrating Independence Day. Since we were kids, um, we were taught or we were used to uh, having a celebration by um, having such a competition, raising your flags or or having some event in your neighborhood. It, they are actually a, a good activities. They, 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 they of course have the positive impact, but if we look deeper, um, the, this moment, the Independence Day is not only about celebration. All the heroes that died in the war, they don't. What they want uh, Indonesia to be is not uh, only uh, for having the Independence Day to be celebrated, but they want more than that. They want the 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 unity and diversity. 
because they want this um, nation to be developed to be to be really uh to be really to be developed and to have the real meaning of the independence so having the celebration is not bad at all but look deeper into the meaning of the independence it what is more important like what you have done to the unity to the diversity have you have you done something to your country i think that's the the more important things like what we have done in our work or in our in our day to day activities that that bring more value to the to the country it is what um what matter most or more rather than having the celebration but the celebration can develop the that value in us by like if you if you working together with your neighbor whatever their uh, race are whatever their religion are you you work together with your neighbor uh, to 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 help that event it's already uh, also implement the value of the independence day so uh, i would encourage you guys to really not only having the celebration for this independence day but to dig deeper on the value of the independence in our ourselves in our uh, daily activities that's from me thank you Thank you so much, Tayangleska. Yeah, for Independent Days is about all of the people in Indonesia. Most of us, we have to look in near of us first. That is our name more because if we don't uh, get the chemistry or tolerance with our next words, I think we cannot that we already independent because when we independent when we get the good relation with our network thank you so much for your speech so we just left one speaker for the title topic session and i think who is will be just by me okay point of I, order just yes, i think yes. uh, our time is up oh okay thank you so much uh Toastmaster of the meeting. So thank you so much for the all of the participants that already joined the table topic session. I hope this uh, session will can help us to more patriotic and model of Indonesia in independent days. Thank you. Back to Toastmaster of the meeting, PM Andika. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Lele, our first timer table topic master and you can bring us feel very presidential tonight because those are, I would say, influential words that can move a nations. And we are thinking of, oh, what a president think like. So I think, thank you so much. And this, I think, give warm applause for our Toastmaster Dede. And also breaking news, uh, we have also first timer, timer, and first time a grammarian, so give it up for Toastmaster Raya and also Toastmaster Leoni. Now I would like to call Toastmaster Raya for the timer report for the table topic session. Okay, thank you. Toastmaster of the meeting. So here's the time report for table topic session. Master Rayhan, one minute and 50 seconds. Yes, Batrix, one minute and 30 seconds. And Toastmaster Resga, for two minutes and 19 seconds. And they are all eligible to vote. Yes. Thank you so much. And we, it gets more and more exciting because we can, we can vote for all table topic speakers. Um, also, Toastmaster Donna here, uh, she has provided the link for us to vote. And before that, can I ask everyone to turn on the video because we want to see all of your beautiful faces tonight and we want to make this eternal in our SCVD IG uh, account. So I would like to have Toastmaster Monica, Toastmaster Angel, Gasmida, Toastmaster Hani to turn on your video because we want to have a group photo. All right, on my count. First post, three, two, one. Hold on, please. And then second post, 
Three, two, one. Number three. Let's pose. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. So everyone, I would like to all of you to click the Easy Polls link on the chat box because we want to have a, I would say, a pre-election before 2024. Please help us to vote for the best table topic speaker. Now, let's get to the heart of every Toastmasters meeting. It is the evaluation part, but for this time, I will have the Master of Evaluation, General Evaluator to lead the session. Toastmaster Raihan, the screen is yours. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Andika. And that is correct. We have arrived to the final, but truly the heart of the Toastmaster meeting, the evaluation session. Now we have a lot of, a lot of things to do because we have a lot of speakers. So without further ado, let's move to our first individual evaluator, which I would like to call on. Toastmaster Gennison to give an evaluation of his speaker tonight, if you would please. Thank you, General Evaluator. First, SCBD Toastmasters, can we have a big round of applause for Toastmasters Gara for such an amazing speech? Thank you, SCBD. Um, for your information, I'm gonna leak this information. Garda has mentioned to me that the majority of that speech was impromptu. And for that, I give a slow clap. So I'll be also be dropping my script for this in honor of your amazing impromptu speech, Garda. Mm -hmm. Now I want to ask you, SEBD Toastmasters, why can we not resist to listen to Garda and his speech. There is one word that encompasses it, that is human. Throughout several points in his speech, the opening, the middle, and the ending, Garda kept reminding us that he is human. He shared with us his experiences, he shared with us that today in work, I felt so tired. There's a lot of challenges in work. I doubt myself. Do I want to do this? It reminds us that he's human. And he also thanked the club and the, the VPE. That reveals to us that he's human. And that's why we cannot help to pay attention to Garda. And because this is impromptu, it's definitely a second nature for Garda. So reason number one, human. Second, because he's human and because we want to listen to him, it's very easy for him to give us his message. And his message, he outlined very clearly for us. And it's also a second nature for Garda because, again, this is impromptu. He gave us the message that we have taken thousands of steps already. Why are we so afraid to take the next one? The message was clear and it was given brilliantly and everyone accepted it because we realized that he's human. But to take your speech to the next level, Garda, there's one thing that I want you to, to avoid, which is to exclude an audience. Um, this is a nitpick, but when you say have you ever, we all have, we all have made 10,000 steps in our lives. There is, I guarantee there is people that has very little self-esteem that they think, don't think they are someone that describes that, that is described by that sentence. And from that point, they will tune out of the speech if that happens. This is not only for this example. So, there are other examples to this. I'm sure you can find out yourself. But yes, similar things can happen. So make sure to not alienate any audience by saying something like, or if you are something else, or if you're any other way, maybe 
If you don't feel like this, maybe you know someone who do. You can add that to make sure that no none of your audience is ever alienated. You can see world championships, world champions doing this, by the way, because it's a very known technique. So yeah, to summarize, we want to listen to Garda because he's human. He reminds us he's human and he has a clear message, very precious message. And to take you to the next level, don't forget to not alienate any of your audience because we all benefit from your speech card. Back to you, General Evaluate. Thank you so much for that very thorough evaluation. Uh, and yes, uh, all, be, having your speech feel human is very important. Anyway, let's move on to our next evaluator, which would be evaluating Tos Maserati. So I would like to call upon uh, her evaluator, Tosmasa Lutfi, to give the evaluation, if you would please. Well, thank you, Tosmasa Ryan. Am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay. Congratulations, Tosmasa Monica. You are the flipper. Your speech and breastplate. So, if I could describe your speech in sign language, your speech is like this. So what does it mean? You deliver your speech so calmly, you fall like a water, or probably uh, like a well swimming on the ocean. I clearly amazed by the way you deliver the speech so smoothly. And I didn't know yet every single word that probably seems like a nervous. So that means you are mastering the topic. So I would like to say that the mastering the topic, probably the important thing on your speech or on the speech. Why this is so important? Because sometimes, if we get nervous during our speech, we probably just got blind on every word that in our head. But if we are already mastering the topic, we can improve every possibility on the speech. So that was the impressive thing you already delivered. And I want to segue our pivot to the things, to the thing that probably we can improve. That was a body language. So you already master the topic and deliver your speech so smooth. But I noticed that you forgot about the important thing that is body language. So I would like to challenge you to improve your body language because why? The communication skills, the communication skills is not only just say the word, but it's more how we say that word. So what can you start on this better language improvement? You probably to improve the sound of your speech or your uh, sounds. You can hire your tone on the key point of your speech. So the audience can notice that that was your key point or your speech. So that was the overall thing that I can uh, say, I can suggest to your speech, yeah. let's challenge your next speech to become better and more impressive. Over to you, Toastmaster Ryan. Thank you so much for the evaluation. And yes, 
public speaking is not only verbal, it's also your nonverbal communication. So be sure to practice that when you're around here. So next up, we have our evaluator for Toastmaster Ivan, which would which I would like to call on Toastmaster Gusti to give his evaluation of her, if you would please. All right, thank you, General Evaluator. Hey, everyone. Happy morning and good evening. So, I like to raise this myself, Ivan. All right, so please, everyone, uh, give a round of applause to this myself, Ivan. Yeah. Oh. Woo. All right. So, this myself, Ivan, you're actually believing in speech about the connected storytelling. And you told us about the story that you met a stranger in the temple and give you like a big question in your life. Not a big question in your life, something like inside question that how to be more courageous, something like that. But actually, uh, it was a really good story. It was has the strong message that we are tempted or we are triggered to be more courageous by your story. Actually, there are some aspects that are going to enhance your speech. The first one is actually your body movement. I saw that actually you try to have a body movement, but somehow uh, it feels like you are distracted or not feeling comfortable because your movement's not steady and sometimes like your angle is not, you know, uh, in front of the camera, so like a little bit slightly side up, so it will change and makes you feel uncomfortable. And the second thing is about your storytelling. It was a very good story, but it would be more good if you taught us about some descriptive languages, such as example, you can describe the condition at there, like whether it's morning, a noon, or even evening. And you can add descriptive languages such as you can you heard the birds singing, or you can feel the breeze, you can see the tree. So descriptive language like that made us more can have the vivid of imagination about your story and what you actually true or face at there. And Actually, you can add some like what is called role playing you and a stranger. You can push your body or put your body like this when you talk to her and she talks to you. And then it will like more communicative. And we have like, you know, like a real story that like a sleepover story. And then actually, it will be more good if you put the paper and show us on a screen like this. So not just hanging around, it will have more powerful meaning um, movement. But I think I do really like the way you're delivering speech, the way you're trying to give the message on it. And it will be more good if you had more descriptive language out there and some in body movement and enhance your speech. So thank, thank you, back to the GD. Awesome, thank you so much for that very insightful evaluation. And yes, even online uh, presentations have their own challenges. So keep those in mind when you do your next like online presentation. So next up we have uh, Toastmaster Adrian's speech which would be evaluated by our Tom for tonight, Toastmaster Andika. So. Ms. Andika, if you would please give your evaluation. Audience loves a confident speaker. From the body gesture, we could see that Toastmaster Adrian was confident with his speech. A confident speaker would deem as experienced. He knows what he is telling us. Then, the audience can be more engaged. Now, you can see that Tosmaster Adrian used his half body posture 
was standing. And when he said, I approach him, he made sort of a subtle movement. And it helped us to envision what is going on with his story. Another good thing about Toastmaster Adrian's speech is he was using chronological approach. He said in 2013, in 2016, for audience especially who loves detail, like me, I could imagine your story better when you put the time tag there. And you always I would say, you always say, if you find them, cherish them. If you find one, cherish them. If you want those people, cherish them. It's a good way to repeat your strong message for the audience. It is about mentor and it is about cherishing them. That's what I like from you, Toastmaster Adrian. What you could do better since you repeat those message, you actually gave much detail on how to find good mentors. However, if we could find more information on how to cherish that, how to cherish them, you could give some explanation on after you find them and then what you do with them. Maybe how you appreciate your mentors. You can talk about it because you still have time for that. So taking the emphasis on cherishing them is good, but then supporting that with adequate information so that it will stay in people's mind on how to cherish our mentors, that will be even better. And also, you could put more emotion because you were so confident, you kept smiling all the time. Although when you say, it frightens me. I don't know whether you do it purposely, but then if you could put more emotion, it frightens me or it frightens me. So explore your, to show your feeling so that you can desegregate all of the attention from the audience. I hope to see your next speech. Good luck to Mr. Adrian. Awesome. Thank you so much for the very thorough, insightful, and very succinct evaluation. That was great. So last but not least, uh, we have our last speaker, which was uh, the speaker with the longest title, uh, Toastmaster Alfin. And tonight, he will be evaluated by Toastmaster Donna. If you would please give your evaluation. Happy morning, everyone. So tonight I have given myself a hard time because I told you to give him a hard time because I laughed. <laughs> so Toastmaster Alvin gave a hilarious recap of who he was. He gave us the really long title titled A Thousand Kindness, Embracing a Thousand Kindness, The Story of Alvin Abrar, which was his name. I was expecting, where is the story of kindness? I was expecting a feel-good, moral story, right? Like the story of the deer in a cage. But what we got was his love for red and his red shoes and his red undies, not undies, and his love for spicy food that gave him two hemorrhoids, as well as his to uh oh no his really really thick accent with the really strong pronounced e's those were really expressive really fun really funny the way you always are that truly is your style of humor probably physical or slapstick because you're really strong at that i think though we were kind of expecting a beautiful soft moral story with that title of yours so either you could change your title or you could change your speech 
there are so many iterations of this speech, right? I think you could insert things about kindness, or you can change this into how I earned two hemorrhoids, which would be a great humorous title for you. A little bit too spicy for the bookstores, but I think it'll work out on an online setting. And I'd like to also say that your joke regarding your accent is hilarious, but it's a little culture specific. Everyone who was Indonesian laughed. It was super funny. But if you're not too immersed in the culture, uh, members of the audience who wouldn't know that people from the island of Sumatra tend to pronounce their E's very um, openly, they wouldn't know that that makes a difference. They wouldn't know what the city of Brebes is or where it is. They could only tell that, oh, you sound a little funny, but they don't have any bridge of a comparison to compare it with. So I think what can really oomph this hilarious story to the next level would be for you to make sure that you are culturally relevant wherever you are and to have a title that suits what do you want to say. Hope that helps. Thank you. Back to you, GE. Great. Thank you for so much for the evaluation. I cannot even begin to uh, try to deliver a funny speech, let, let alone evaluate it. But good points. Um, manage audience expectations with your title and also be aware of culture biases. So with all of the individual evaluators done with, we now move on to my own general evaluation team, which I would like to call upon our first member, which would be our grammarian to deliver their report. Um, Point of order, let's check Ms. Time, Ryan. Yes. Oh, sorry. The timer report. Yep, that's, um, apologies for that. Uh, timer report. How's every, how's every individual evaluator? Ms. Soraya? Okay. Thank you. Ms. Raihan. So for the evaluator, as, as I I have already shared the time report in the chat box, you guys can see uh, there is one not eligible to vote, Taskmaster Jenison, for 5 minutes and 11 seconds. And the others are eligible to vote. Taskmaster Lutfi for 3 minutes and 28 seconds. Taskmaster Gusti for... Are you there? Wow, she cut off. Oh, no. Okay. I'll send out the link. Yes. I think we have all the info we need for the voting. So I believe we'll have our link in a moment. So please, everyone, uh, vote for your vote for who you think uh, was the best evaluator for tonight. Uh, for all of those who are eligible. So sorry, Tasmaster Ginnison. But anyway, while we do that, can we move on to the next part? Indeed, please do. Awesome. So, uh, sorry for being too gung ho there. So now we actually move on to the next part, which is the general evaluation. And now, uh, now officially, I would like to call upon our grammarian, Tosmaster Leone, to give her evaluation for tonight. Thank you. Happy morning, everyone. And back to me again. And today I heard, I think, three people mention disaggregate. That is our general evaluator, Pizing Tosmetos Raihan. Thank you very much. And guest Patrick, and also our club president, Tosmetos Andika. But only two of them that I have sent the iPhone because Tosmetos Andika will have his own iPhone bought himself. Okay, so let's move on to our grammarian report for today. It is an exceptional impressive meeting because you guys are all maintaining a high standard of grammar throughout your speeches. It gives me a hard time because I'm not good at grammar. That's why I'm going to need you, your help. Please unmute 
yourself because we're going to learn this together. All right. The first one that we we're going to learn is pronunciation. Please, you guys are unmute yourself. Okay. So the first word would be island. Island. Oh, island. Okay. Island. The word is island. There's an a s there, but we're not pronouncing it. It's a weird thing from English language. Okay. The second one would be neighbor. 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 Neighbor, right. And the last one is. Ooh. Uh, adequate. 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 Yes, I even have problems with that. All right. The next one, we would have. Well, I heard someone say more can. It should be something like it can give us more. So it's just, there's just one thing that I pick. But next we're going to have beautiful thoughts, words, and places, and spaces. And I would like to um, to <laughs> have someone using this word in a sentence. And I will pick randomly. And for the first one, I would be our VPE, the sensors Donna. The word is contemplating. Can you give us a sentence for this word? I'm contemplating not to say anything. <laughs> oh, that is such that is such a good word. <laughs> and contemplating means things profoundly and at length. And another one would be our president can you give us an example of sentence of using this word let's develop ourselves relentlessly let's develop ourselves relentlessly such a beautiful word it, it means in an unceasingly intense the last word would be exponential can our oh ETM Raihan? Can you give us an example of this word in a sentence? I think I'm growing exponentially. Uh, you think you grow exponentially? I hope it's exponentially better. Of, of course, right? Awesome. It means with reference to an increase more and more rapidly. And now. I also have beautiful quotes that are been not verbatimly uh, noted, but I would like you all to guess which mm, which quotes are this from. The first one would be, it is perfectly fine to take another opinion into account, but the key is to find a balance. That's Master Mosca. Yes, that is correct. Master Adrian, it's from Master Monica. The another one would be own your journey and learn from it. The one who, who who say this cannot say. <laughs> so no, I'm really no. sorry, but it's from those messages. Adrian, <laughs> he's about to say it. That's not fair. Okay, the next one would be you are the person you are today because of the thousands of steps you have taken. I think that was Toastmaster Gander. Garda. Yes, it came from Toastmaster Garda. And the next would be a challenge in your life is a challenge you need to face and deal with. Which thought is from Toastmaster Yvonne. Yes, that's correct. It is from Toastmaster Yvonne. And the last but not least, we listen to a speech that felt human Genison. Genison. that is correct it is from those masters Genison. so that is all from me today as your grammarian thank you so much for listening and participating i hope you guys are all enjoying this session and i hope we meet again next week 
here in this uh, meeting, in our club meeting. And that's all for me. Back to you, General of Advisor. Awesome. Thank you so much for that very well done evaluation, Toastmaster Leone. Now, we move on to the next person. So I would like to call upon Toastmaster Angel to give us our IWOD report. Thank you, GE. Okay, for, oh. for Toastmaster Raya and Toastmaster Gada, no. Um, and repeated work, Toastmaster Monica also no or and one times um Toastmaster Raihan three times um Toastmaster Anika one time um and re repeated words yeah yeah Toastmaster Donna one time uh and three times um you say oh two times Toastmaster Dede two times or uh, and two times um Toastmaster Yvonne one times um and you say re with repeated words, I lose. Toastmaster Gusti, two times um. And with repeated words, yeah. Toastmaster Alvin, more than three times um. And with repeated words, Nasi Padang, four, five times. And is spicy, two times. Toastmaster Adrian, four times um. And repeated words, inconsistently. Toastmaster Lutzi, two times R. And more than four times for um. With repeated words, so. And Toastmaster Honey, no, I'm not here. Toastmaster Jenison, no. And with repeated words, yeah, two times. Guess the tricks more than three or uh, nine times. Um, and one repeated words and three times. To guess our guess, Reska, more than four times are and more than five times. Um, and you say repeated word day and to be two times. Thank you. And over to you, Toastmaster Raihan. It's all for me. Thank you so much, Toastmaster Angel. Thank you for that uh, for that report. And um, again, if you see your name there and you think like, wow, that's a lot. Don't worry too much. You can get better with practice. Take this as a stepping stone in your journey to being a better speaker. And now we move on to my own evaluation for the meeting overall. I won't take too much lot. I won't take too much of your time. So we started off on time. Just great. I do think throughout the meeting, everyone was very on point with their timings and reminding each other of when uh, time needs to move on. Uh, when we move on to uh, opening remarks from our from Mr. President over here, uh, gave us a very well structured opening and give potential new members. Uh, an overview of what Toastmasters is all about, which is what you want from an opening remarks from the president. Uh, then we also have, and we start our meeting, which would be the prepared speakers, which everyone did fantastic. I do think I want to expand upon some of the evaluations that in an online setting, you do need to pay attention to where you are placed within your camera, uh, within like your field of view. Just because it is online, do try to treat this as much as it is a offline um, meeting as possible, as much as you can. So control the environment as much as you can so you can give the best performance that you can. So, and then we move on to our table topics. Um, we only had time for three because we did have a lot of speakers, understandable. Uh, but our table topic master did a pretty, did a Pretty good job with handling uh, our table topics tonight as it is quite insightful and very stimulating questions. Though I do think that from my own very personal, from my own personal experience as table topic master, quotes can be hit or miss sometimes that some people might not get it and be a little bit too intimidated when it comes to quotes. So I do think it is a good idea to sprinkle in different kinds of prompts. Maybe some can be questions, some can be quotes, so that one, people are not expecting the same thing over and over again, and also gives a chance to anyone who's not really comfortable with interpreting quotes or that kind of uh, prompting to be able to speak with a bit more comfortably. 
and then our evaluations, individual evaluations. Great evaluations overall. I think everyone did a pretty fantastic job about uh, telling our speakers what they are great at and what they can improve upon. Though, I do know that I think that most of our evaluators are evaluators first and speakers second. As noted by our timer, uh, Mr. Guinnesson was a bit over time and I did notice that a lot of our evaluators was this close to being over time. Now, I'm not saying this is an, an entirely bad thing. The entire point of evaluation is to give speakers feedback, which is the entire point. But it, you are still giving a speech. And also, it's a, when individual evaluator, it, when you are becoming an individual evaluator, you are expect you the speakers would expect you to be within the certain time limit. If you go over, you might lose them and your message to them might not hit or they might not remember. This is why that Toastmasters, we need to be a bit more. Uh, what's the word am I looking for? <laughs> we need to be a bit more um, cognizant timely? about, yes, timely. Cognizant about our time, being timely. Thank you, Toastmaster Donna, for that. But yes, uh, overall, though, pretty good all so far. And good job again for the rest of my general evaluations. I don't have many notes for that. I think Toastmaster Leone did a great uh, grammar report. And thank you again for Toastmaster Angel to for the uh, NWOD. And our timer was very on point with everything. And I appreciate that. And that concludes what I have to say as a general evaluator. Now, last bit, I do think we have our bell counter to announce the winners or not yet. Indeed, that is true. Okay. All right, let's go. Happy morning, everybody. How's everybody doing tonight? Yeah. I'm here yourselves. Awesome. Yeah, there we go. Great. Here goes the best speakers of tonight. Drum roll, please. So, first of all, our most favorite, favorite speaker goes to... To Spencer Alvin! Congratulations! 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 Okay, I Thank will. You. Yes, uh, can someone please take a picture? And okay, you can take a picture of yourself. <laughs> In okay. <three. laughs> okay, Alvin, please pause. Three, two, two one. one. There we go. Congratulations mm. once again. And next up, we have our most favorite table topic speaker. And the winner goes to... Congratulations. All right. Can somebody thank take you, a picture? Thank you, everyone. Okay. Let me take a picture. Three, two, one. Done. There we go. Thank you. And lastly, our next most favorite evaluator goes to Toastmaster Andika. Congratulations. Yes. Okay. Please take a picture in three, two, one. Done. There we go. All right. Thank you very much for everyone who voted and congratulations once again to all winners. Don't forget, this is our true winner of the night. This is our vice president of membership, Tosser Adrian. Please text him, but don't hit on him. And ask you ask him any question regarding SCVD and Toastmasters in general so that you can get more information and become great speakers like our winners tonight. With that, I'd like to give the control back to our Toastmaster of the meeting, Toastmaster Andika. Thank you. Let's give it up for our ballot counter who smoothly cast the vote so that uh, we can have the best prepared speakers, best table topic, and also best evaluators. So everyone, Thank you so much for the role takers. I think you do it smoothly. And with the spirit of Indonesia Independence Day, let's preserve our rights of nation. That is independence. Being independent means that we can express ourselves 
without any fear. So let's give it up for ourselves. So let's give a big round of applause for ourselves. And I will hand it over to the president of SCBD. Hello, it's me again. <laughs> thank you so much for, first of all, I would like to thank our division I director, Toastmaster Alvin, to join us. And also our members, the SCBD Toastmasters Club. And not, uh, I would say I also really appreciate our visiting Toastmasters, visiting Toastmaster Raihan, visiting Toastmaster Angel, and also the other uh, visiting Toastmaster Gusti with the cool shades, I, I would believe, the whole night. And uh, also our distinguished guests to enjoy our meetings on Friday morning, Friday morning, because we're always happy. And as a club president, I would like to announce uh, several things that we are going to have a karaoke event in early September. So please uh, look for our soon notification. And also the second will be our Speechcraft event. Uh, this is an eight week series for non-Toastmasters to experience the growth you can get by being a Toastmaster. And it's going to start on the September 30th, 2023. So please mark your calendars. And the other one is we are going to start a new tradition by celebrating everyone's birthday once every six months. So close so for members, please don't miss it. Now it's 9.01. I'll take one minute as a, okay, let's uh, uh, end this on time. And by the power of my remote, I adjourn this meeting. Thank you so much for those of you who would like to stay to chat with us, to ask anything about this, or just to keep your uh, expand your connectivity here, please stay in this room. Thank you so much. Happy morning. Happy morning. Happy morning. Good morning.